right uh, right uh, so in sql also you need to ensure that uh, the asset properties are taken care in your database right so asset properties are going to be atomicity consistency isolation and durability so whenever you work with sql also you need to ensure the asset properties so atomicity means it ensures that your transaction is complete either it occurs completely or not at all right so if the transaction is aborted at the at the particular point of failure the previous operations are rolled back to their former state right so a transaction should occur completely or not at all if a transaction fails due to some uh, hardware or software failure it should be aborted at the point of failure and the previous operations are uh, rolled back to the former state it is known as atomicity right and the consistency means uh, it ensures that the database changes uh, it properly changes state upon a successfully committed transaction right so you debit something and you credit uh, into some account right so then the database state should properly change on the successful uh, completion of a committed transaction right so you pay for some e bill right so your amount should be uh, the amount should be debited from your account and it should be credited into the vendor's account right so it should be properly reflected on uh, both of both both the vendors as well as the uh, customers account values right so isolation means uh, to improve the throughput right so multiple users should be able to pay their electricity bill at a particular time right so multiple users should be able to purchase from an online store at a particular time we have concurrency in transactions whereby multiple transactions will be uh, running concurrently right however we need to ensure that uh, each transaction operate independently and uh, transparent to each other so for each running transaction right so whenever you execute a transaction it should appear to the transaction particular transaction it, that it is executing independent of the other concurrent transactions that are being executed in a database system right so you have transactions ta for example you have transactions uh, ta and tj running concurrently for each transaction ta it appears that uh, tj has already completed it execution or tj will start execution only after ta completes it's known as uh, isolation right so you consider two transactions ta and tj that is being active in a database right so for a transaction ta it assumes that uh, tj has completed its execution long back or it is likely to start its execution only after ta completes right so each and every transaction is independent of each other and it should be transparent to each other so that's the property of isolation right and durability means it ensures that uh, the effect of your committed transaction persists in the case of your system failure right so you book a ticket or you pay your bills you get a committed uh, the result you get a acknowledgement of your transaction right then there is a disk failure or a database failure in the server side you need to ensure that uh, even if there is a, a database failure or a disk failure you should be able to reconstruct the system to a stable state prior to the point of failure right so basically we we'll, generally whenever you commit something in the server side what they do is that they write not only into the memory but also into a disk file right so they, they will be maintaining uh, two copies of the transaction so one will be written into the memory and the other will be written into the the same transaction will be written both into the memory as well as into the disk file so even if one peripheral devices fails right memory fails i uh, will be able to recover the information from the disk file right so you also have backup servers 
to take care of this uh, durability problem. So you need to ensure that uh, once a system, once a database uh, gives you an acknowledgement of your committed transaction, the results of your committed transaction persist even in the case of your system failure. 